Welcome back, friends, to Cultist Anonymous, the episode where the whole Kabaddi, uh, the whole Cabal Cult dies. Whole oh, kitten Cabal. <laughs> kitten Caboodle, yeah. Um, sponsored by World 20, the Onyx Path, and viewers like you. Uh, shout out to all our patrons who support us monetarily. And, well, I, I can't list all of you YouTube guys, but I appreciate it. And podcast guys, I see you out there. You were a smaller number, but I see you. Uh, so thank you guys for joining Robotic. us. Twitch. Robot. There we go. Uh, and Twitch guys, I know you're there too, but you just get to enjoy us being unedited and unfiltered, um, which has its pluses and minuses. So, you know, whatever. Uh, but yes, a special shout out to our patrons who support us monetarily. Thank you to... A bunch of binary um, that I'm going to guess it's it's four letters... So I'm going to guess it's Mike, um, but uh, a Siderite ingot, Adele, Al, Alan Michael, Alexander, Algos, Bernie, Blood Angel, Brandon, Doc, Emil, Graves, Jack, James, Jenny, John, Josh, Julian, Catfeathers, Melissa, Michael, Milo, V3, Moku, Nova, Perry, Puppeteer, Ramon, Riviscrad, Ryan, Sebastian, Sinna, Space Gay, Seranus, Terry, Thomas, uh, <laughs> Vortex, Weiss, and Zoltan. Uh, we had a couple different name changes in there. Uh, though we should point out to Graves that he now needs to be the late Mr. Graves. Wah, wah. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, thank you for supporting us. It, it, it's cool to have you guys here, and we appreciate it. Uh, when we last left the Cabal, the Cabal summoned Super Goro. Teleport. We didn't summon him. Don't make it sound like he's. That's true. From, Love that. from the he's, beyond. He's not a supernal yet. Uh, not yet. Uh, we're gonna send him to the supernal though. Uh, but nope. yeah, I mean, I mean, Still the way not. the guardians, the way the guardians do it, I mean, they think so. But yeah, it wasn't me. We had to deal. Damn it, Adele. What did Adele do? Adele is just fine. Adele has done nothing except been a great werewolf. Is very true. Was a very wonderful werewolf to play Venom to. Um, she said hi, and I said hi back. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so yes, Super Goro is there. We rolled initiative. At the top of the initiative is the Stalker. But first, the hung spells go off. But wait, sure. there's more. Yep. Um, so the, are these hung spells all going to go off simultaneously, or will they have yes. overlapping effects? Okay. I mean, they they go off. Uh, um, basically, so the resolve them in an order, area. but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll go through them in order. Uh, however, you okay. wish that to be, but okay. I would like Grave Misfortune to fire first. Sure. <laughs> uh, what is the what is the potency on Grave Misfortune? Uh, potency five. Okay. Oh no, potency. Uh, Because I paid extra two, so potency seven. Okay. All right. What else goes off? Um, there will oh, be. Oh, hang on. A warp. Sorry, I'm, I'm asking this like I'm going to be able to keep track of all this stuff in my head. Let me There's write down some notes. Yeah. I've got notes up on my screen about it. Oh, sure. But this way, I don't have to consult with you every time. So, grave sure. fortune uh, seven potency. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the there one? will be a collapse of potency five. Mm -hmm. And I pay the extra so he can't heal. Uh, oh, yes. because uh, So I question about that because you grabbed the, the uh, ingot that uh, Songbird made Siderite. Uh, did you pay for the scale to combine those? And I, I could be remembering that spell wrong, so give me a second. Uh, no, I'm, if I'm literally just overlapping their locations so they intersect and then leaving them intersected. Right, but whoops, that's matter. Hang on. Um, uh, Doesn't mean it's small. He's not. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da 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 blues as another object. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it doesn't mention anything about uh, nope. 
Yeah, collapsing. Yeah, what I'm thinking of is the latter part, which is collapsing multiple subjects into each other, thereby damaging them all, is an application uh, of, of increased that's subject a scene factor. From Star Trek. Somebody get my pearls. I need to clutch them. That is not an okay <laughs> yeah. spell. Hi, and Chris. Remember me, the there. space mage? Yeah. That's not okay. I'm going to be over here shooting lightning at people like a good boy. Yep. Uh, Are you wearing your cool lightning armor? No. He didn't wear nope. big armor? He keeps leaving it at home. Or look at the armory. Uh, look. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so collapse. Uh, was the other any other spells? Uh, a warp. Okay. Um, so for an additional damage spell, uh, and how much potency um, was on that? Six. Six potency on that, and did I you presume take- we'll be doing some clashes of wills. Uh, possibly. Uh, with <laughs> uh, what uh, did you take the reach on that for the uh arm or leg rack tilt? No, I did not. Okay, and for the collapse, did you take the reach and mana to make aggravated damage? Yes. Okay. Cross reference a couple things here. Make sure I have my life four. <laughs> Uh, life for and his uh, wards and science. But because of the collapse, you shouldn't be able to heal. Correct. Uh, if it lands, if, if it, it does lands. damage. Right, that's mm-hmm. going to be lands. that is going to be the trick. Uh, all right, I'm going to play fair with you, Craig, just so you don't burn a bunch of willpower. If any of these land, they're not getting through his wards and science. Um, okay. Now, whoop, uh, now, double check for me. You're Robot. Check breaking Robot. up real bad. If um, if any of them uh, uh, bypass his withstand, uh, I was looking for it. I didn't see any, but this is collapse. Where... Collapse okay. bypasses his withstand. Okay. I know there was at least one of them. That yep. did. Mm-hmm. I have a big note with stars all around it and highlighted bypass withstand. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so that is the only one that actually needs a Clash of Wills. Technically, so, the other ones clash, but I don't want you wasting willpower on something that is not going to matter. And notably, you would know that as soon as the first one lands, but there's a whole weird thing with time and what happens first and stuff like that, so I just want to do that. So let's go ahead and roll uh, the Clash of Wills for the Collapse, so that's going to be your Gnosis in space. Plus, So the Grave Misfortune is just... It's gone. It, 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 yeah, so so you're aware he has a potency eight wards and signs. Well, shit. It I is. Mean, have a little heads up on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of that uh, was hoping you can get bypass with stamp. Um, yeah, that that's fair. A lot of mana just went up in smoke. Okay. Well, the plus side is um, uh, I'm not making you roll. Uh, hmm. I'm just de- no uh, specifically. I'm deducting mana out of his thalmium uh, because it's just going off. So that's three out of his X uh, thalmium. Um, cool. Uh, so oh great. Um, uh, collapse uh, gnosis plus your space plus if you have any duration to bump up that clash of wills. Ooh. Rip. Uh, did that have your willpower on it? Uh, no. So before I roll... I'm gonna get seven successes. <laughs> Five <laughs> successes! <laughs> Alright. Um, okay. 25 dice, dice incoming. <laughs> not, not quite that much. Um, not quite that many. Uh, so first up is Thomium. Which fails. Oh. That's another off of his thing. Um, Gnosis and, plus life. Yeah, that's what I was going to... Yeah, thank you. That's exactly what I was looking at next. Um, and his ward as well. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That would alter his physical body. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I want to double check that life actually counted. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's any attack spell is definitely... Yeah, any supernatural thing that would hurt you. So good. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would injure you. Okay, yeah, it's right in there. Okay. Yep. Cool. Um, so, yeah, Gnosis plus life. It doesn't protect Wolves. you against a werewolf attack. Right. It's a supernatural power. Yep. Right. Yeah. 
just like life armor. Okay. Um, and so go like, ahead and roll your the gun. 18. Um, um, I will <laughs> Yikes. add a success to mine and subtract a success from his. There you using go. Two yep. Intercessions. Yep. Um, all right. Um, and one more. Here is Ward, uh, which isn't nearly uh, isn't nearly as bad. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's going to have duration on it. Okay. Oof. Yeah. Yeah! Get it. Nice. Well, that's okay. a good way to start with what five aggravated damage. Five aggravated, oh. and he cannot heal uh, magically until the object is removed. Object is removed. Yep. So five I mean, aggravated damage. He could probably damage. just like rip his stomach open and take it out because there there is that possibility. Yes. Uh, and he does have four. Well, I gotta say things like that. <laughs> Well, but that's going to take an action, and he's not going to be murdering Songbird while he's doing that. Look, he's not going to be murdering Songbird in the first place. We'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, so with like that's, the... That's the bad thing about if a fight ever goes bad against us, is that you and I get to watch Songbird die. <laughs> <laughs> and then run for your fucking lives, right. because that's well, the plan. <laughs> so Songbird is losing. Do we leave now, or do we wait till he's actually dead? <laughs> leave now. Yep. All right. So. Like, well, bye, <laughs> Perry well, says one arm can rip it out while the other arms do crimes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, oh, yeah, that, I guess that's true. He uh, he is up. Um, mm-hmm. So, yes. Uh, what is your defense, sir? Not really. Uh, sorry, Songbird. Uh, eight? Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and kick on life armor. Okay. Which it gives you. So that'll be 10. Okay. And two right, armor. Because it's rounded up, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it's four, so there's no rounding when you oh. divide four by, for by some half. Reason, yeah, for some reason. It I is rounded up, though, because if, if you get life five, then it's, it's three, three. three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, for some reason, I thought you had, um, I thought you had three. Um, I really should remember that. How how do I not have all of your guys' arcana memorized? Oh right, because you guys change like every three weeks. I mean, we don't I don't know. I don't know theirs either. Well I'll try this is what? Death five? Mind four? Mm-hmm. Matter four? Yep. Life, Life one. one. Nailed it. <laughs> um Weird is Space five. Space four. four. Yeah, eight five. Eight five. Sorry, four time. Hang on. <laughs> hang on, too many numbers. Sorry, I'm just hang rattling on, numbers. Yeah, sorry. sorry, we're just filling numbers out. <laughs> I'll just test myself for fun. What, what was your, <laughs> okay, what no was more your defense? <laughs> Ten all day. Okay, so uh, he is spending willpower uh, to reach out and claw at you. Force successes. Cool. Um, I think you get to hit him with dumb. Martial artsy yeah. shit? Yeah, he takes, Is a, that he takes a, a bunch. Yeah, it's bashing. Okay. Um, doesn't actually affect him because it doesn't bypass armor, right? I know you have something I, that does that. You have something that bypasses armor. I ignore one armor on okay. attacks. I don't know if you want my like, auto damage to qualify. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Um, so that is um, six lethal. Uh, subtracted from hey. your... Are you even? I I mean I got eight right now. Okay, cool. He's going to have to try harder. Uh, mm-hmm. Cool. Um, and did he? I mean, he could. You could roll another couple dice and make it all out attack if you want. No. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> could be fun. You sure? Um, Trust me, I thought about giving him the uh, werewolf merit that lets him all out attack and keep his defense against the one target. Mm-hmm. But I felt like that yeah, was a, a little one. bit, a little bit too Come targeted. Um, yeah. Um, um, yeah, you know, I think that is actually the end of his turn. Um, there's definitely a sense of him lashing out at you because you're the first thing 
and mm-hmm. also starting to immediately assessing the situation. Yep. Yeah. Uh, cause like, okay, this is bad. Who am I? Or not, who am I? He knows where, who he is. Who am where I? am I? Where am I? I'm not a hundred percent sure, but there's this person who clearly just let loose a bunch of stuff. wants me. to kill me. This one who's <laughs> trying to punch me. And then there's this one over here who's got a gun and, uh, yeah. Uh, yep. songbird. I'm going to punch him. Please punch real good. I'm going to punch real good. Okay. Uh, what is he, defenses? Don't forget your intercessions. Right. Uh, what not. did I say? 12? Um, 11, and, I think you said. 11. Um, and then uh, he's activating his spirit armor. Downgrade. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So I whip out my domanium. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't have, you have that. <laughs> Do not know? in not in punch punch boy form. Right. So if you want me to roll zero weaponry dots at him, yeah. then yeah, maybe. You know, I could have done that for you. Look, man. I could have made you so good at weapons. I told you in person that I want to be the fucking anime boy before this chronicle's done. Me. Fair. Cause I want Somber to just fucking platonic form a fucking katana out of his hand. <laughs> Because it's not it's not as cool when you platonic form <laughs> knuckles. It's like right, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. The fuck did you say to me? <laughs> yep. Um, All right, eleven day, eleven, eleven defense. Uh, uh, let's make it thirteen. Uh, he's going to spend willpower. Okay, that's too many. It's not. It'll be fine. Because uh, I can spend a willpower too, and my knight's right. more than him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, so that is six all day. Three eight. plus, yeah. Wait, eight? Remember we talked about my fucking... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Your knuckles. Uh, knuckles. I had forgotten so, about bonus damage, y'all. I got bonus damage. So that is... No, Somber does not watch anime. <laughs> Uh, eight bashing, uh, reduced by his armor. Sunbird's Punches cool. one armor. Cool. Okay, well, he's into wound penalties. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Uh, Trennis. Me? Until his turn and he does shit. Oh, I thought we were just letting the old bad. She were really, really bad. Oh, bad. shoot. Uh, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Network. <laughs> Network, where'd you go, buddy? I forgot to roll for initiative it's for our favorite list. Mestigos. I shouldn't say that. It's not necessarily your favorite oh. Mestigos. Oh. He's our favorite Mestigos. Oh, hold up. Can I try a thing? Possibly. Mm-hmm. What, are you, what are you trying? It's going to... I'm going to... Because I forgot that this is an option. I want a clash of wills against his mage armor. My adamant hand. This will be instead of being able to cast a spell in the same turn during this combat. So what, you're able to dispel his... Cool. That's good. Yeah, we're probably not going to... Yep, Uh, we're probably not going to use that uh, merit in the next chronicle. That's fine. I'm probably not going to play an adamant scenario, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, no, network is wait, uh, and that's not including his weapon, so we'll just have him after you. Just that way things. Okay. Uh, but hang on, we're gonna let him do this. Do your shenanigans. Sorry. So you're what? Clashing Gnosis plus life or something? Mm-hmm. Things li- or uh, spirit, I guess? Gnosis plus life against his spirit, yeah. Ooh! That's gross. Okay. Hey. Cool. So his armor comes down. Uh, he cannot use spirit armor for the rest of the scene. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, he Eight. looks he looks a little bit irritated at that. Uh, <laughs> Probably. Yep. Now it is Ash's turn. Yes. Okay. So I was looking at this bill based on what you had just told us about his um uh, wards. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Like I would have to beat an eight potency ward to even get through. Oh, yes. You turned back for, sense, yeah. for um, severing the awakened soul. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it, it's going to be eight plus whatever withstand is already on there. Well, excuse me, not plus whatever withstand is on there. That's basically, fine. yeah, you'll because you gotta uh, get that, potency ten. Great. At least. Because uh, basically, um, you don't stack uh, withstands incrementally. So, because Wards and Science is higher than its resolve, the resolve mm-hmm. withstand is just added on as a plus one. So, it's it's a nine okay. withstand that you have to deal with. So, is this right then? It's a five dot spell. It is a potency spell. Mm-hmm. So, does so it start with five? Potency start five? With... Mm-hmm. Okay. So, the minus. Okay. I only need a minus 10 then to make it potency 10. And that would mm-hmm. be the. Mm-hmm. If it gets through the thing, it will go off. Okay. Yep. Or rather, if it goes off, it will beat the ward. It'll beat the or withstand. Have a to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'll beat the Result withstand. The clash of wills. Exactly. Withstands go first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, no, clash oh, of wills would no. I mean, because it it doesn't matter, really. Yeah. Okay, but so I'm rolling just six dice then, Ow. because it's going to be a minus ten instead of a minus twelve. Mm-hmm. Um, that counteracts Windows Arcana. So I spend a willpower three dice. Because my Yantra, I'm using uh, my Shadow Medium. Sure. Quick math, I like it. <laughs> I already queued it up. Yeah, I wondered what that had been. Um, but yeah. Let's hope it works. Oof. Nope. I have intercessions. Intercession, yes. I'm just going to ah! and make it go. Okay. Uh, so so now we'll- we... Clash. Clash of Wills, yep. Um, so this is uh, his Thaumium first. Oof. Uh, uh, what am I rolling? Gnosis plus death, because uh, you don't have any duration on it or advanced potency. Uh, oh, you have, I mean, I can have the, um, the... Oh, I guess you have the reach. Domain. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. You have the Domain for it, yep. So it would be plus two. Uh, yes. Jesus. All right, so reroll that same intercession. Die pool. Oh, that's intercession. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Use that. All right, and then war doesn't matter. Ooh, um, <laughs> gnosis plus life. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that probably qualifies, huh? Does it? Because uh, I'm not hurting. You're not him. injuring him, and you're not attacking his body. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's death that protects you from things that fuck with your Correct. soul. Mm-hmm. He yep. doesn't yeah. have that. Yeah, that would change the physical body. Yeah, it does not. Uh, well, you don't know that he has that. He might. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming no. he doesn't. But if he does, tell me. Uh, no, uh, but I am looking at the other four dots to make sure I'm not missing something. Um, nope. Oh, oh <laughs> wait, no, Craig does Okay. Um... So, and you have the reach for it. So, yeah. Um, you rip his soul like, out into like Twilight. Um, uh-huh. Cool. Uh, and I wanted the bonus to do the plus two reach. Cause... Right into, yeah. I, yeah. It's, <laughs> hey, you're in yeah. your domain. Hey, yep. I'm in a domain, so. Yep. Cool. Um, he can't do spells. He can still hit you. Uh, but he's got some negatives there. Uh, let me go pull up that condition. Make sure I am <laughs> following it correctly. Was pull up chat that getting condition. snarky? R- retcon? No, we ain't. We ain't retconning nothing. Um, oh, and let's see here. Y'all fucking with Drew? No, no, no. Uh, trust me. If if this was going to be a fight, there'd be more than one of them. Um, yeah. Uh, There's so, not secretly more than one of them, is there? Uh, so let's see, her broken says minus two on social, minus five on intimidation. Um, where is Thrall? It's alphabetical, I know, I'm just getting there. Uh, so can't for, spend willpower, go ahead. Uh, for the soul, um, if it's in Twilight, when does it go back to it? Uh, when he uses some kind of spell to manipulate or get hold of it. Okay, because I can also hold it. In myself. Uh, how so? Sounds like a very bad idea. <laughs> um, you can the caster can take the soul into her own body. If you oh. don't have a soul jar, you can take. Would it. you like to do that? Thing is, it replaces your soul while the spell is active. I believe. Mm. Soul, soul jar does. 
Soul Jar does. Um, I don't think this does actually. Yeah, Soul Jar because you can you, use you, it on a person. Um, to to um, you can totally have two souls attached to you at the same time. I mean, yeah, I'll hold on to it because I don't want him to get it back. I don't know what that's gonna do to me. This just got interesting. <laughs> it's <is laughs> going to be fucking up. <laughs> You are on heroes. Uh, hey, can, uh, can, go ahead and tick some dots of notice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, may not use defense, may not spend XP, suffers all of the conditions of broken. Okay, so he can still fight and defend himself. Uh, yeah, he just can't, can't use, use defense. defense. No, well, he can still fight. He can't defend himself. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's very fair. Uh, he has no defense. He can't cast a spell. Yep. And he's uh, really bad at social interaction. Because I'm sure he was great at that to start with. <laughs> right. Um, hint, this guy didn't have any dots in mind. Um, so is that the end of your turn? As you rip this guy's soul out and attach it to yourself. Oh, boy. I mean, like, I don't know what that does. No, you sure don't. <laughs> no, no, you don't. wouldn't. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, yeah, end of my turn. I'm, cool. Because I can let it go, right? Uh, you, um... Need to cast could sever sever the yourself. awakened soul again to get it out of me. You've attached uh, it to now. yourself. Okay. I yeah, thought so I could like it? hold it while this as like while the spell was active. No, because the spell isn't active. You've uh, karate okay, chopped no. it. Yeah. Two seconds uh, later, I don't want to as a Nero is just flames, it. people running in a panic. <laughs> There's a Godzilla <laughs> marching around, destroying everything. Okay. So yeah, you leave it in I Twilight. Like, yeah, leave it in okay. Twilight until and, she and takes I, it back. In my head, because it it makes sense, you've ripped it out for the duration of the spell. Uh, now, if he has some spell like Soul Jar to reattach it or something like that, but that's going to be an action. That's going to be a spell that he has to do. He has to have the Death Arcana to do it. Um, but he can't but cast a spell. Because he's missing his soul. That is interesting. Hmm. This is it waits to return. So I think right. they just go back. After, in, in my head, at the end of the spell duration because okay. that gives that gives it a a very clear line of like mm-hmm. this but is how long it's severed spell right so i mean but you rip it out duration. and then you know so like it's gone for one turn but he's got uh, she's got advanced reach. yeah mm-hmm. but yeah by default okay. yes you just chop it off now hopefully you have soul jar which is a lower dot spell anyways so yeah uh, i just I just don't. Most potency spells don't unhappen. Like they don't. They're not right. based on duration, right? And, and, so and, and no. And the where I'm coming from is the severing has happened and it is maintained. But like, if he has a spell to end it, he can put it back. Uh, yeah. Oh, or sure. If, yeah. Uh, but for now, but I, don't, I don't see it just, naturally going back. Well, I mean, this, the way it's written, it does for right. awakened souls. Yep. Like regular people, souls probably just fuck off if you don't catch them. But this is the weakened soul specifically. Wait in Twilight to go back, right? Uh, which I actually think is kind of a cool change up from mm-hmm. you know setting because mage spells clearly do or mage souls clearly do some extra shit. Uh, also, potency stuff just being naturally lasting. Another thing I want to address in our next chronicle because we've mm-hmm. like you know been kind of back and forth on some of the stuff and I'm realizing actually probably shouldn't be like wondrous machine. Is that actually technically a duration spell? Uh, or, you know, should it be a duration or does it have a duration? You know, you mash things together. I mean, it, it does. The one in the book, the one for the legacy attainment says it's lasting. Right. But in the uh, book, it's. But that's something we can look at in the new chronicle. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and wondrous machine may not be the best example. Uh, network though, um, basically <laughs> sitting where he's at, um, and kind of in a hunkered down, cross legged, eyes closed, make it all just stop, um, kind of uh, space. Uh, da, 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 da. make sure I'm using the right spells. Uh, da, 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 da. With his mind three. I'm just double checking that psychic assault. Yeah. Um, we also have Gabe, who is here, and we keep forgetting him in combats. We don't. 
<laughs> um, Does he get an initiative or go on mine? Uh, just to make it easy, we'll have him go on yours. Um, that way I'm not having to cycle through and track things. Um, yeah. Sorry, I was having a moment. I was trying to decide what he was going to do. Um, but yeah, I think he's just going to psychically assault. Which is not going to be great, but uh, at this point, he's got a bunch of damage on him already. Um, Time to laugh and see what happens with his thomium versus his hey! hey um not that anything actually happens uh but it just does burn off another uh Metal. thomium charge yep um and weird Um, I'm debating. Okay, I'm casting a potency 14 grave misfortune. One turn? One turn. With nine Yantra bonus? No, that, that, that's our original roll it up. I've adjusted it since um, I'm rolling two dice. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'll take it! Hey! <laughs> and when you have Miracle, it's... You know. That was uh, that was my back pocket card. Cool. Um, so roll your Gnosis plus uh, Fate against his Thaumium. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, baby. There's the successes. All right, and yeah, it's definitely not a life spell uh, or a life thing. Yep, all right. Uh, so what was the potency on that you said? 14. Okay, so six. Nasty. All right. So any damage he takes is now increased by six, right? I can see a life clashing against the extra damage there. Potentially, um, right. Um, Whip, hand wiggles, dot wave. Right. Um, all right. Um, so, uh, right. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, weird. We need to, we need to have a talk about, um, ward. Uh, you said you put a ward on him? Yeah. Okay. Um, Because I realize that needs to probably clash and also deal with some potency. We did the clash, but um, did we? Did we? Okay. To do? Um, yeah, we well, for sure did the clash. We, we did the clash. Okay. Um, trying to tell. Well, yeah, he'd be, be able to recognize word. Um, hmm. This word. The space word. That's uh, to stop him from leaving or uh, teleporting himself. out or yeah. Hmm. It's obviously uh, it, it's his turn and he has some options. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't really have any options. He can't cast a spell. Mm. Um. And again, we didn't state it, but going into combat, your guys' goal is to kill him. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's no negotiation. This is just an all-out fight. So he can't uh, surrender. Yeah, okay. So he's uh, lashing out as best he can. Um, he can still but, hit real hard. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um... So uh, he takes actually no damage from uh, your uh, martial arts 
stuff because he's got enough armor, right? Um, well, but the martial to, arts does an additional six, right? I'm not worried about it. Okay. Because um, the original, like, the damage wasn't actually done, but yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, he didn't get hurt for it to do bonus damage. Right. That's kind of my thought. Um, well, and I, okay. Right, and that's one of those ones that again, next chronicle. Um, hmm. Yeah, the next time the subject suffers at least one point of damage during the spell's duration, increase the damage he suffers by the spell's potency. Right. So yeah, since he didn't actually suffer it. Okay. Um, so cool. Um, he turns and uh, takes several big strides. And uh, Atratus, what is your defense? Um, not great. See. Three. Plus two because you slip on a puddle or <laughs> <laughs> I do get I feel like the... it can't possibly be that low. It is. It's dex and what? Lowest of dex and wits plus athletics. Yeah, it's three. <laughs> huh. mm-hmm. That's why I really like it when you buff dexterity. <laughs> uh just an FYI for the future, uh, the drifter move is buff firearms, buff athletics, and split the dice. But hmm. um, okay, and I get whatever bonus you said I could have from my condition. Like mm, plus the plus two, two. yeah. yeah. Um, so five. Now it is at the top of the initiative, so you can basically declare that you want to dodge. Um, which basically foregoes any, and, and like I said, this is, this is your decision. I'm putting it out there. I'm not suggesting mm-hmm. it, but it's the other option is you forego a, um, penalty to his pool and instead roll double your defense. Um, and for every success you get, you reduce his successes. Um, it ends up being more of a gamble. So your three becomes five with the condition, and so you would roll ten dice, which you can roll. Uh, you can add willpower to, um, and then for each of those uh, successes, you would reduce his successes. Uh, the alternative is just taking a five defense that he has to hit through. Mm-hmm. That uh, reduces his die pool. And then, of course, you do still have... Um, you soak six damage. Yeah, you're going to soak six... I also six have and, death armor. Right. If you, you can do that or matter armor. Um, matter armor will just flat out reduce. Death will reduce it down to bashing. So, again... Yeah, I, I like death armor a lot. <laughs> it's very good. Um, no, I'll just keep my five defense. All right. And, and dodging takes your turn as well, though. Mm-hmm. But that's true. That's very true. Yeah, that was... Sorry, I am scrolling back to make sure I'm using the same die pool. That you hit song bourbon. Right. It's like 14 or some shit, wasn't it? He's probably got about an eight strength, right? <laughs> yep. Um, oh, you can't spend willpower. Um... So yeah, so he's rolling nine. Making sure I'm calculating it. Oh, wait, no, not nine. Uh, six because of one penalties. When, when I attack the squishy one, I want to be <laughs> really fair here. Okay. Got more stamina than I do. That's fair. Yeah, uh, I, I have more than Songbird. <laughs> yeah. um, so that's uh, six uh, lethal which I think your armor is basically... I have armor have. six, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, by the way, that does technically mean you still take one bashing damage. Um, uh, no, take that back. Um, I think that's only for ballistic. Uh, but I'm mm-hmm. not going to worry about it right now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, he just slashes at you angry Goro Shiva style and just... Does nothing. Yay, armor! Oh, my God! Your leather vest absorbs the entire force of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Um, and he is looking very put out. Uh, and actually, yeah, I was going to say he tries to be intimidating, but no. Uh, there's He's not a lot of energy behind now. it. Yep. Uh, Songbird, you're up.
You're muted. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch him real hard. Right in the butt. Good move. Right in the butt. It's the as high as I can reach. <laughs> he's he's only eight feet tall. All right. I know. I know. Eight feet tall. But yeah. It does put right. a, a straight it, shot to the yeah. kidney. Yeah. I, like I was weird. Like I could make a speed bag out of his daddy bag, basically. Wow. <laughs> <He's so tall. laughs> There's a phrase. Yeah. <laughs> There's the episode title, Daddy Bag. <laughs> no. No. Uh, I'm going to use a willpower. Sure. And he can't apply his defense, so... Yeah, I know. Holy! Okay. And Jesus. he drops. He uh, takes 16 bashing, or 16 lethal uh-huh. damage, I should say. Yep. Uh, As I just d- explode his kidney inwards into his body. Plus six, Actually, right? No, yeah, plus, plus five. Uh, oh, yeah, plus no. six. <laughs> yeah, technically it would be a little less than that because of his armor, but yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, the bashing count up back up to lethal and then fill up with aggravated. And he already yeah. had some ag, so yeah. Yeah, um, and basically Layer falls skater. forward and collapses. Guess what time it is? Time to roll some axe hubris. Hubris time. Hubris time. Yeah. Whoever wants to start first. Oh, actually, weird. Uh, not weird. Uh, network will start first. Oh, poor network. Oh, this is baby's first murder. Baby's first murder. <laughs> um, and um, uh, in his head, unfortunately, this applies towards his obsession of protecting New York. Um, no, it oh. doesn't. <laughs> I mean, you are summoning this thing, this beast in here, but. Yeah. And he's protecting his city now that it's here. Yep. All right, network okay. seems fine. I think he made it. <laughs> can tell from here. <sighs> Don't think this fits. Three dice. My sessions. Three dice by default. That's my same sort of dispassionate attitude. Yep. Okay. Hubris, I know you're not. Yep. Oh, intercession! <laughs> Can I intercession on an act of hubris? Eh, probably not. Probably not. not. Why not? No. 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 Uh, oh, you, you can't, you can't put an event. This is like yeah. a matter of your soul. Yeah, this is, yeah, you're not you're not changing what happened in the world. Sweet four Aww. wisdom. Sweet baby attractive. Wow. Yeah, you might <laughs> you, uh, you might want to consider putting some raising some wisdom. See, the reason I really hate that is that it overwrites one of your obsessions. Like Oh, when you get the condition? No. Well, no, in order you to can get only wisdom back, your... you have to replace an obsession with increase your wisdom. So she sure, but it's needs an to... easy way to gain beats. Though, because anything that you do, yeah. especially some of the stuff that you've been doing, like is good obsession beat fodder. But also, she's got to get like another gnosis, that, right? To... Like, change the way you're playing your character. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that, but that's that's the trick of it's you wisdom. deciding yeah. to do it, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, which um, we're gonna have to talk about your condition here in a minute. But first, weird. Yeah. Uh, so wrath is my vice. Are you angry at this guy? Um, yeah, I gotta say we're to be pretty pissed at this like freak of nature and what he's done to Seattle. And I mean, flat out, this guy is not the one who did anything to Seattle. Oh, I thought yeah. he was like in charge of the. No, 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 no. He is. He is. He is a leader of a pylon in mm-hmm. Seattle for the Panopticon. The right. shit that's going on in Seattle, that's the hegemony. It's all unity. Yeah. Unity. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. They're the ones that want people, you know. So what am quieting. I rolling? Three, unless you have a reason for your obsession or act of hubris or a vice. Nope. One success. All right. Uh, which actually, yeah, uh, since we are talking about uh, wisdom here. Uh, um, what level of wisdom is 
Trantis hasn't fallen into falling wisdom yet, has she? No. No, that's one to three. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's very low on the medium slash yeah. understanding. This is basically if you fail another one, then you're a falling wisdom. So four is the point at which you kind of have to. Unless you just don't care. And, you know, don't worry about the interfector. And, <laughs> and yeah, falling wisdom, you don't even care about doing murder anymore. Mm hmm. Yeah, really easy. <laughs> Premeditated murder. Premeditated murder. Um, cool. Um, and with that, yeah, uh, the misshapen corpse of the stalker falls to the floor. I imagine flopped over whatever desk or barrier, you know, a Tratus and uh, network were huddled behind. Um, his soul still floating there uh, in twilight. Uh, <laughs> was that shrug a, eh, I don't care about his soul? Yeah, I'm not, I don't really feel the need to collect more of them. I mean, they're nice to have on hand for like, in case someone ends up soulless. But I don't think I like this guy. I don't think I want his. <laughs> don't want to keep that soul around? No, it can yeah. go. Yep. Get yeah, back so on the wheel. Try again. That's yep. a great guardian of you. <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean guardians just, aren't the only one. Just open a gate believe. around it and let it go. Yep. Uh, well, it doesn't necessarily go down. Um, souls just sublimate. Sure. So yeah, yeah. You you release awaken or uh, sever the awakened soul from your spell control and you know death mage side. Anybody who's got it can watch this soul, this twisted Disappear. misshapen thing. Yep just sublimate into the supernal um Wherever somewhere souls go yep uh network is kind of panting and gasping and going oh my god i can do anything i can do anything i want this is amazing <laughs> um and uh hops up and kind of looks around and like checks himself feel feels over and you know brushes off some you know minor splatters of blood uh and goes i get why you guys do this this is, this is amazing this is a rush um and then he's rapid <laughs> slow uh, your roll yeah <laughs> uh, and, and then a like big heaving like oh okay i'm gonna take a nap uh <laughs> i have so much stuff i need to do um and uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> goes, goes, goes up to one of the little because most of us work know, hard when they're sleeping. It's yeah, that's messed yeah. up. <laughs> goes to goes to a find a couch set aside and just like flops back. Uh, doesn't look like he's immediately napping and falling straight asleep, but he's like, okay, whoo, coming down from you know a bunch of adrenaline because you know he was behind cover and then the thing came after him. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Right? But for the three of you, and I, I guess... probably get a rampant condition also. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably riding that high of just ripping souls out of bodies now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, this I... works great. I'm going to keep fucking doing hey, this. Yeah. Want to buy a yeah. soul? So <laughs> 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 try this in a dark trench coat hanging around in alleys. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, really, this is not different than normal. <laughs> I do like the idea of like um, soul traders what? in the underworld go to the, like, the river cities and barter. Just yeah, of, but they're not trading curiosity. souls. What happens if you put a soul in a vampire? That's an obsession. <laughs> call Julia right now. <laughs> but I mean, she left. Find she, out. Left, she left the that one soul. Yeah, well, I guess it's true. We still have Mr. Grace. I still got one. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you want to call Tassos and give him a very good present? <laughs> Another one? Oh, right, because I didn't give Fucking the forearmed one. bullshit. <laughs> There's his present. Let him go all ecstatic on this blood. Yeah, actually, I would do that. Because, like, because especially since when I called Julia, he was just like, what the fuck? Like, okay. Just uh, want to send a text to Tab. Was it Tabitha? I can't remember mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So. Just uh, saying, might be some rough weather coming. Click. 
also sent a text message to Tabitha. Here you go. This is what weird meant. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I think this subtle, is gonna subtle, <laughs> yeah, it's CG, anyways. I mean, nobody's gonna, yeah, no, whatever. Uh, yeah, <laughs> some some FBI agent out there is like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> These memes are getting ridiculous, y'all. Um, that said, yeah, you get a message back from Tabitha, and it's a little group message. It's like, I think it's an O dot 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 K dot 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 question mark. Um, Eh, followed by another one thanks i think uh yeah just text toss us and be like i have a present cool now they're yeah. gonna be competing to see you get questions. the better one uh and he will <laughs> stronger resp- one yeah he, he will respond when the sun rises or excuse me sets That's- uh yeah i mean he is working on being awake during the day but uh He's not, not quite yet. there yet. But yeah. I do like the idea of just having vampires to come clean up our messes. Yep. Like, I hey. mean, personally, as the, the guy who occasionally doubles, uh, dabbles in Death Arcana, that is a really good zombie that you're giving away. But, you know. I mean, that's I it. can't like... I guess I could like incognito presence it and walk it around, but I don't really want zombies. That that you're called <laughs> said no need to answer ever. <laughs> well, no, the yeah. spell to make a zombie. Um, it doesn't matter how the body is. The zombie you make kind of sucks. You have to buff it up a lot if you spend the reach. But oh, you shit have a lot of potency, and you have you to have put a reach. lot of potency in it. Yeah, right. And I think it has at least the corpus uh, is equal to his size plus stamina, if I remember correctly. So he at least has a big chunky health pool but yeah uh being useful for like tasks and stuff is kind of but i'm gonna email this picture to red dread because he doesn't text yeah that's probably accurate i said and the subject line is does this one count as two (laughs) (laughs) um right no, uh, that's still one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, Chris's own words. It only counts as one. Um, as I threatened him with four attacks from four arms. Uh, but uh, no, um, Red Dread does basically respond back. Probably not immediately, but you know, a little while later, and going, um, you're going to have to come debrief us. What the fuck? You got it. So we've done some murders. <laughs> Yep. Um, oh, uh, I almost said unrelated. Um, very related. highly related. Uh, weird. You recognize that uh, the spell that Zolius had cast on you, as well as the uh, spell that you had cast to maintain that sympathetic connection, breaks, which is probably a very weird sensation uh, because it's not like a spell dispelling or being let go, mm-hmm. so much as like a violent you know, shattering of a connection um, just because the other end is just gone. Um, Mm. It can no longer, you know, maintain. It's very rarely do you guys actually have a, you know, none of you guys have had, well, I guess it's, yeah, no, I, I think this is the first time because it's the sympathetic connection as opposed to like spell control. Oh, the spell is gone, but this, you know, is a little bit of that step up, but yeah. Yeah, the target of the spell is now gone, so there's no spell to control. It just not only that, but the, because you had that connection, the sympathetic connection mm-hmm. that was forged as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, forged in two ways, uh, fake and made. Um, yeah, but with that, you guys, you know, kind of. <laughs> I imagine like everybody like has a sit down and goes, "Okay, that's a monster." Good job, team. I'm proud of you all. Mm-hmm. You did great. Uh, Travis, keep it up. You're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing Travis perfect. took no damage. You're ripping souls out. Saving our lives. It's great. Lots of armor. Didn't armor even get hit. I didn't way. even get hit. All right. I got to go talk to Red Dread. Mm-hmm. Yep. Y'all good you here? Need, you need some backup? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Just uh, talk no. 
Songbird gestures is... to the ground. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And no, Songbird is not severely injured. Songbird took zero some damage. damage. Didn't you take some bashing? No. Oh, no, that's right. Your armor covered everything. Yep. Six armor. Mm-hmm. Plus two from life. Yep. Isn't right? Yeah, I love that. Songbird has been severely injured once. Yeah, the only person who's ever weird really been injured. Died. Yeah, we had weird getting almost wrecked, and then also uh, uh, Mammon uh, getting oh, yeah. getting wrecked. Swiped uh, once by a werewolf, dead. seven lethal or whatever. Yep, and and that was the day everyone went magic armor. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Uh, so uh, Songbird is going to head to uh, the uh, the Arrow Armory. Um, uh, what's everybody else doing? If any, Zolius. Yeah, I think we want to reach out to Zolius. Just okay. like job's done. Job's cool. done. Uh, Work is to poop. This is the. This is where we find out if he's <laughs> been straight with us or if this is all a big setup. I mean, are are you asking for the time and location of the grimoire right now? No, thank you. No, I'm just telling him that it's done. Yeah. Okay, and he goes. Nice. Cool. Actually, I think he says, nice. Fuck that guy. Yeah. This guy? <laughs> <laughs> Not, yeah. Not a fan. And, uh, Atratus, are you doing anything? Other than waiting for Tassos to wake up? Uh, fill in werewolves that job's done um now we'll see if anything happens sure okay uh righto um so uh we cut to red dread um uh, and pip and uh colossus and I'm trying to remember how much we told them i don't think we told them about this little murder because well, i well i i got info on seattle and stuff mm-hmm and yeah, that, that had been because you talked with Colossus about it because he's the one who gave you the information about the uh, right, right, right. the judges. I'm pretty uh, sure we didn't tell them why. Mm-mm. Nope. Um, yeah, you were just heading out there and you needed stuff, and uh, I think specifically you found out, hey, there's no concilium out there. Who do I reach out to? Um, yeah. And got the little boost over to the other adamantine arrow headquarters out there, and drove and stuff like that, but. So yeah, um, you guys have a little sit down um, in that same little briefing war room kind of place, um, and uh, they they have a you know play by play of a, a what the what what uh, what is this? So picture? in the what name of in the name of tracking down uh, a lead on our fifth grimoire, uh, we have uh, been. Mm, extracurricular with our activities. Sure. And, there's definitely uh, this... uh there's definitely some looks from all of them and question of like so how did he end up in your sanctum? It's teleported. There's definitely some Simple. looks, some some back and forth looks of. Oh, it's not honorable. <laughs> right. Uh, well, and it's the, it's that and the like. How'd you get the connection to teleport him? And not even that, because, I mean, that's something like you can do with a little bit of work. Right. Um, but it's more of a. You. It's a lot of bodies starting to stack up around you. Are you are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, great. Okay. Um I'll go talk to the guardians if you want me to. They can check me out, but I'm good. I mean I mean you have weird and I'm sure weird will go running to the guardians if something starts to get really, you know, funky, but uh no, just just check it in, making sure you're okay. Um you know, you you know, 
if you're okay and and this stuff hasn't you know harmed you then okay uh but yeah it's just you know been been quite a few bodies starting to stack up and add up and um because i also realized you know you've killed quite a few people you've (laughs) killed quite a few people in the six month gap and we didn't do a single act of hubris for that um but uh yeah uh also the bodies aren't stacking up we're cleaning them up Fair. Uh, I have a Moros who knows about vampire. I've only cool. failed one act of Hubert's roll, and it was for network. Yeah, Which violence is fine. You're fine with all this. Murder. Also, it's cool. we did we did justify the not rolling acts of Hubris because I have a nerd uh, celestial, celestial fire. fire. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because uh, it, it adds it adds plus two docs. Right. Um, so, uh, but yeah, th- there's a little chit chat, a uh, little bit debriefing of who was that? Where are they from? Is this going to come down on us? Which basically comes down to somebody. Can come pro- down right. Well, specifically, they mean the concilium, uh, <laughs> which basically comes down to if somebody finds the remains of the teleport spell um, over wherever, you know, uh, weird had cast it to, they can study it and figure out weirds nimbus and can get a connection from that um, and basically track down, you know, whoever took him. Uh, But that's all they will be able to get from the teleport is that, you know, um, and that's if they bother to check, you know, because Mm -hmm. he's a Panopticon guy. He probably teleports or co-locates, you know, so it might be some time and uh, not that you mention it, but, you know, Zolius is over there also, working some stuff in the background to make this, right. you know, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be uh, super upfront about that. I'm not lying then, about it, but I'm not right. going to be upfront about it. Right. Uh, and none of them are asking questions. Um, yeah. it, it's, it, you don't have to lie. They don't have to cover for you if they don't know. Uh, right. but yeah, so there's, there's a little bit of back and forth and, and chat about that. Um, uh, you, you guys, in the group text, get a get a message from uh, Nako a little while later and says, "Is everybody okay? <laughs> all good. <laughs> yeah. We're all okay. safe." Um, so uh, Nako and Judd make, and Titus uh, make their way back to the Mercury. I, I offer to bring them if they want. They're good. I mean, you yeah. know, uh, it's very easy to you know. It, it's it's not a long distance. It's a beautiful you know. fall day in. <laughs> In New York. Mm-hmm. Wow, we we did actually lap back around to the mm-hmm. right season, uh, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, um, make your way through the. Uh, or they make their way back through New York, back to the Mercury. Um, they look at the body, step over the body, go. Yep. Nope. And yep. then Nico kind of looks over at it and goes. Well, I mean, since it's here, it sits down. <laughs> I mean, I mean, while it's studies, here, yeah. Sh- <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, starts to scrutinize the life. The, the life. Yeah, because there's a lot of life spells that are active on him, um, and some stuff that is clearly done via attainment. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, she she dives into that. Um, and then uh, yeah, night passes. You get a get a like there's sundown and like two or three beats later and then you get a text from Tassos going what the fuck is that yes I want that and I'll be right over <laughs> uh, kind of response um, so then you have a little chit chat with Tassos as he looks at this thing and goes I might have to come back with a car <laughs> Like, I don't like carry, carrying a, a buddy who looks kind of drunk. Like, I, I can I can handle that. Um, I'm used to I mean, that. I can make him like a normal body. And then yeah, when yeah, I drop the just, spell, he'll go back to being like, you don't want to stop, mess with stop, him. stop, yeah, stop. You keep him. asking. You keep offering. Stop messing with the body. Leave it alone. OK, well, how about it? A yeah. gift. Appreciate it. Uh, now that said, if you're willing to spend the mana, you could like incognito presence it, uh, mm-hmm. and so you can just tote it around. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, so he would he, let he me leaves. Do that if it's not um, like altering the body, it's just sort of making it unnoticeable. Right, because yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, do that. I'll just go ahead and mark off the mana. 
yeah. say that that spell worked. Cause it's... <laughs> yeah, you, you're in your domain. You you have some time. He goes, really? Nobody's going to... Nope, they won't look twice. Do you want it also? I can do this for you. <laughs> he, he actively reaches down to grab hold of it. He's like, okay, that's wild. Okay, heave up over his shoulder and totes it out. And as far as anybody else is looking, uh, it guy carrying a big sack of potatoes, I'm not sure, whatever, and he pops down. Darkly lit, you know, New York streets. Uh, he's not Serato. He's not going to be on the yeah. streets very long anyways. Um, it, you you are in no way surprised if like, you poke your head out to watch him walk down the street a ways, move a manhole cover, <laughs> drop a body, pull the <laughs> Squishing it down. <laughs> yeah. Too Super many dead. arms. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Um, but and yes. now in, in 10 minutes, you're going to get another text from Chico or whatever. <laughs> Julia. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Tess is like, no, I'm not even going to let her know I have not this thing. telling her. <laughs> yeah, not even. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, oh, boy. Um we did it. I did it. Trying to remember if there was anything else that immediate repercussions. Well, uh, no. Songbird's away talking to Red Dread. I wanted to have a chat with Atratus. Mm-hmm. We've been uh, ending a lot of awakened lives lately. Just two. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, Songbird's at like 12. Yeah, but that's many, excuse me. That's how many have like, you got? Oh, I don't actually know the mage count. It's not, they're not all mages, you know. No. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot, of, lot sleepwalkers. of sleepers and sleepwalkers. Just making sure you're all right. I mean, lives are lives. Like it's not worse because they're mages, isn't it? Though, no, people are people. Hmm. Like, also, I don't, this guy, I don't feel bad about offing this guy. He was a fucking monster. I do disagree with you, but I just wanted to check in. Yeah, Yeah, your whole vengeance thing over the summer, and now we're bumping off Sears left and right. It seems to be a pattern we're setting up, and I mean, yeah. All right. Just uh, I do not feel bad about killing the guy who killed my brother. This guy, no. Graves. <laughs> to to be fair, your wisdom says otherwise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That you're, I'm like, it weighs on you. That's what's reducing your wisdom. But yeah, I know what you I mean. thought if you failed, it meant that you didn't grasp that what you did was wrong. Yeah. This is true. Yeah, yeah. you're fine with it. Yeah, Grace, true, I'm just it. like, oh, I acknowledge that, like, maybe that wasn't barging into someone's house and killing them. Not great. Necessary for what we need to do. Not happy with that one, really. The others, I don't care about. I would frame that a little differently. Killing Graves wasn't necessary for what we needed to do. It was just the easier path. Yeah. I also... Personal vendetta against him a little bit. I understand that. He left a pretty bad impression with me as well. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure you're not... uh, You're keeping yourself grounded on uh, all this and stuff. I think I'm fine. <laughs> like, okay, that's it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, night passes, uh, especially since you guys have been up for several hours. Especially weird working on spells, um, you know, and then adrenaline high of life or death combat. Um, you know, eventually you guys, you know. Make your way to bed. Is there anything else you guys do for the night or anything? Mm. 
No, I don't think so. Yeah. Songbird is going to work on his rote. Cool. I'm probably going to call up folks and go out like to a bar or something. Like, sure. Let's unwind. <laughs> And call up Logan and Alicia and be like, hey, so we didn't die. <laughs> Part, party because we mur- a, a post murder party. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, post murder I mean, party. They're, they're definitely like, oh, yeah, that works. Um, now, I uh, need to remind myself where's that rampant condition? That's uh, so when you use magic for anything that you can, really. Yep. Uh, resolution. Suffer a paradox. Um, cool. Um, do you think that probably comes up in <laughs> when you go partying? I'm trying uh, to think of what. Not- notably, the one that immediately jumps to mind is casting it on your wallet. Um, and paying for or, everything. Or, or on everybody's drink glasses. No, that's... To an even, even bigger extent, uh, if you were to, say, be talking to someone, uh, using mind magic to find out more about them from their surface thoughts, and be <laughs> really good at flirting, that kind well, of stuff. To be fair, that one I don't think of because she can do that as her attainment. That was an attainment, yeah. I can just do that. Like, reach out and touch their arm and then oh. just have that. Right. That's fair. Well, yeah. you're probably more likely to do that. Even if it doesn't actually, like, yeah. result mm-hmm. in casting and paradox and stuff, you're probably more likely to, like, be doing that kind of thing. But yeah. Since, since we have some time, if, you know, this is... Mm-hmm. We, we, we don't tend... To, we, we tend to talk about, uh, especially rampant, is like, oh, yeah, we can handle that the next combat or the next time, you know. But this is, you know, a rampant Atreides who does not have Songbird or Weird around, uh, has two werewolves who are not going to slow you down um, <laughs> and are not aware of you spell casting. Um, mm-hmm. And so I'm, I'm kind of curious what, what you think you know, and, and how Atratus's, you know, night goes. Uh, yeah, definitely endless bounty on a wallet to just have money. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, mental spells to, like, be more charismatic, I guess. Like, mm-hmm. not just the read their thoughts, but just like, hey, you all like me better now. Because... Mm-hmm. I mean, I can make you like me. Augment mind plus uh, yep. enhanced skill means you are more charismatic, and yeah, um, yeah. So you can definitely, uh, definitely do something like that, and that's a little less flashy, um, and doesn't necessarily provoke paradox unless you're overreaching. Um, it's basically, just upping socialized dots to just be like great at this club. <laughs> Cool. And then a quick cut to like an entire bar cheering at Tratus on if she's chugging <laughs> a beer or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the, the reason uh, presence 10, socialize 10, yes. Uh, could easily do that. Uh, so the, the reason I'm asking is because you can keep that uh, condition specifically if you want to use it because you your obsession has been, one of your obsessions is replaced. Um, mm-hmm. If you want to get beats that way or um, I'm fine basically saying uh, because there will be some repercussions in terms of story narrative stuff that happens after the fact, because you going out and especially partying and being this very noticeable character because striking mm-hmm. looks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and just going ahead and, you know, clearing the beat, suffering the paradox and going, Oh, that was probably not the best idea after the fact uh, sound about right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you can go ahead and get home the next day, sober up, and go. Oh, what did I do? Oh my <laughs> God. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, and so yeah, uh, we'll also handle that being resolved because uh, I'm not going to worry about. Okay, what spell specifically did you cast? What paradox did you get? Because unless it was just a really nasty spell and you got some really bad paradox, a la par- you know. Uh, uh, Paradox. We'll just narratively explain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
And since you still have four wisdom clinging on, you basically mm-hmm. have to deal any paradox condition that you might get would only be for a day anyways. So yeah, if you're good with that, we can go ahead and wipe that and uh, okay. take that bead. Um, cool. It's a arcane bead? Mm-hmm. Regular bead? It's a arcane bead. Uh, no, excuse me. It's a Rampant is a regular bead. If you got okay. beads from uh, the Obsession, those would have been the arcane beads. Sorry. The obsession for uh, because when you have rampant, one of your conditions, uh, your obsessions is replaced with the obsession to wield magic indiscriminately. Oh yeah, right. I, yeah. So cool. Yeah. Uh, no, you just resolve that normally as a regular beat, uh, and then of course everybody okay. gets a beat from you know the act of hubris itself. Mm-hmm. So um, cool, um, and that brings us to eight fifty five, nine fifty five, seven fifty five, fifty five somewhere. Um, Can I press this button. Which button? What button? The button to roll for making my rope. Oh, thank you for reminding me about that. Yes, please. Oh, this is Gnosis plus athletics. Or, sorry, uh, prime plus athletics is how you make that roll. Mm-hmm. I previously had uh, five successes added up on this. Cool. I need a total of 25 because it's a five dot rope. Five dot. Mm-hmm. There's five more. So yeah, it was three hours. Mm-hmm. Oh, over a period of weeks. Okay, yeah, not necessarily uh, every week. Cool. Nope. Uh, it's just, and then yeah. the only man, the only problem is that uh, if you fail a roll, then it gets right. complicated. Yep. And then you're spending a mana, which isn't a big deal mm-hmm. for you. Uh, I did yeah. spend it though. Yeah, appreciate that. And then, all oh, right. And then when you finish it, then you spend a point of willpower and arcane XP. Cool. Um, right. So yeah, uh, that uh, that leaves us off. Uh, and boy, howdy, do I expect that there's going to be some social stuff going on in the Concilium as word is going to start to spread about what is what is it the Rookery up to right now? Um, because some dead bodies are showing up, some very weird one. And and Atratus was seen at a couple <laughs> nightclubs with two rather attractive uh, folks uh, partying it up. Um, and, you know, her nimbus is all over the place. And yeah, so we'll have some some fun, various bits of drama as the leaders. Like Nazis! <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, the various leaders come and go, hey, uh, guys, uh, we get it, you're masters, um, but uh, what is going on? Uh, making deals with the seers, killing seers, partying, and uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jaywalking. <laughs> Jaywalking, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, weird, weird especially is going to get some you are paying attention to them, right? Uh, so yeah, we'll see all that uh, coming up. And uh, basically, we're, oh, uh, we're we're at the uh, we're, we're we're near to the end game. The if Zolius the final is, save point. Yeah, if uh, if Zolius is you know true to his word, uh, can locate and have uh, directions to. I almost said access directions to the the fifth grimoire. Um, and of course, we got some other things in the fire. Uh, Songbird is working on uh, the rote that will then lead to the weird act of creation. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're, we're getting to the end game here. Um, sorry, there's no big, you know, BBEG. No cliffhanger. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, we're, are we not, not fighting the Archmage? <laughs> no. <laughs> You automatic. He automatically wins all Clash of Wills. No. Um, yeah. Uh, the rumored archmage. The claim. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair. Well, uh, <laughs> Somber's got a pretty good idea that this dude's got seven, eight dots of prime. So, well, the one who know. made it, but not necessarily sure. the um, the, the tetrarch, tetrarch. Who's mm-hmm. holding it. Who has it? Oh, yes. yeah, that guy. I thought you meant. No, I was talking about the one that made all this. Oh, the one that made the grimoires. Yeah. yeah, they're still around guys somewhere. Like, hey, why'd you Why'd you put all five of my pieces together? This is terrible. You've now summoned Exodia. Rip. 
<laughs> That's a good idea. Summons in a supernal into this world and it's higher than rank five and whatever could happen. That's not what happens. Um, I will tell you thank that you. much. Yeah. Uh, but thank you all for joining us. If you want to join us in on- there, I can give you some tips if you need. <laughs> Uh, if you want to join us on Discord, that's eat into dot space. Come by, hang out, chat with us. Um, you know, lend, lend us your opinion on the slow decline of Atratus's wisdom. As she's like, listen, I'm trying my best. Meanwhile, Songbird over here is like, ah, I killed somebody. Whatever. Yeah, murder everyone. It's cool. Just be that idea like, that it's a slow decline. It seems to be falling like, like a stone. I have rolled I'm really, well, I'm, really forward, hubris. I'm really looking forward to... Uh, weird having to talk to the guardians and be like no no no! i promise songbird's good it's great songbird's he's doing great fine. <laughs> he's fine oh, we gotta I talk about it <laughs> yeah. and failed three of them yep. i don't do a hubris mm-hmm. you keep doing a hubris though yeah which which by the way um it does actually remind me um it doesn't mm. <clears throat> No, I was going to say uh, you could um, inner awakened, uh, sever the awakened soul, but that has that's been, not what that wasn't that, the thing. Yep, it was the the murder actually. Yep. So yeah, uh, so yes, uh, come by Discord, chat with us there if you want to support us monetarily. That's uh, staylucky dot club or occultanon dot threadless dot com. Check the links, check the you know stuff like that, and come. Uh, you know, hang out, see the stuff we've got there. Uh, I have been asked, and so I will now add, be adding a Discord channel for Occultist Anonymous art. Um, there's not a ton of it, but it, it has been requested, and so I will make it. And so, yeah, if there's art that you have, um, like, uh, legitimately, I'm not asking for art, but if you've got it, come share it, because it will make me blush and be giddy and be like, oh my god, what? Um... But, uh, you know, don't feel obligated or anything like that. Um, Even if it's just a stick figure of Songbird punching a hole into Goro. <laughs> Remember, wide Goro. Goro oh, daddy. Wide Goro. <laughs> uh, but it's a stick Goro figure. It's got a square for the torso. Yeah, lots yeah. of sticks. Uh, so, yes. <laughs> th- th- thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, and we will see you next time. Stay lucky. <laughs>